still no sign of a stolen mobile home bound for Vermont. Allie Freeman is live in Rutland tonight with the latest on this. Allie? Darren, the victim of this alleged mobile home heist is now offering thousands of dollars as a cash reward. We've been on a hunt ever since, and we're bound to determine we're going to find it. Mike Billadu says he's been buying and selling mobile homes for 23 years. He has traveled across New England and recently bought this trailer in Pennsylvania for $50,000 cash. It's tan in color. It has a very unique front. Um, it has like a double roof in the front uh, with a bay window. Um, so it's a little bit different than your average single wide. The Vermont businessman had parked the mobile home at the Big Apple Diner in Hampton, New York. It was awaiting delivery to Vermont. Billadu says an emergency surgery delayed the move. After surgery, um, I started uh, feeling a little better and uh, had a couple buyers for this house and uh, wanted to come out and check on it and got here and the lot was empty and my heart sank down to my stomach. The mobile home was gone. Senior investigator Bruce Hamilton of the Washington County Sheriff's Department says a witness saw a man hooking the home up to a tractor trailer and took off. Another witness saw the home down the road. In New York State, on one of the side roads up there that saw it go past where he was on Golf Course Road in the town of uh, Hampton. And after that, we have no idea where it's gone to at this point. Hamilton says they have been following several leads, but have still not located the 16 by 70 foot trailer. He says moving mobile homes in that area is common and wouldn't necessarily catch someone's eye, but the thief had to have had experience. Somebody definitely put some thought into this and they had a purpose for it, whether they're trying to resell it or, you know, using it on their own property or just using it as a hunting camp. It's somebody thought about this before it happened. Billadu says he has been searching non-stop since the trailer went missing. He has even been taking to the skies and searching via plane. Still no leads, but he is hopeful that a $5,000 cash reward will get people talking. This has become quite a financial burden. Uh, $50,000 is a lot of money. Uh, so we're bound to determine we're going to find it. Police say they believe the mobile home may still be local. To transport a trailer of that size in Vermont, you need two sheriff escorts. If, you, if anyone has any information, they're asked to contact the New York Washington County Sheriff's Department. Darren. And we have that number on our website. Allie Freeman, thank you very much tonight.